Okay, this is a simple high voltage generator transistor based inverter circuit. Two transistors, four resistors, single transformer. With this particular transformer and voltage input of nine, about nine volts, produces an astounding 258 volts. Now this is high frequency AC and it's going to be a square wave so before you ask if you want perfect sine waves you're going to have to go to a lot more complex circuitry to the point you're better off just buying an inverter. But this is a simple way to generate uh, high voltage low current power for things such as flash tubes, Geiger counter tubes, and so forth. And the output is controlled, the frequency of the output is controlled by the physical parameters of the transformer for the most part. So you really can't control that. You might, I don't know, clip some caps into it to change the frequency, but it's not worth it. Or you can vary the input voltage. Like I said, I'm getting 258 out, and remember, this may not be 100% accurate. Remember, your volt ohm meters that you buy are calibrated for 60 hertz. This is a couple of kilohertz. If I was to go ahead and crank the input voltage up to full 12 volts that you would get off of a solar system, I can jump it up quickly to 340 volts. And if I was to rectify it and filter it, it would be well over 400 volts. So this in itself is an easy high voltage power supply for flash throws or Geiger tubes. Well, let's take a brief look at the schematic. Thanks for watching. All right, here's the schematic to the this section over here is what generates your high voltage. There's This is a 12.6 to 120 volt uh, step down transformer. I'm using it as a step up in reverse. All you have here are simply four resistors, two transistors. One transistor will switch on, then it will and what the transistors do essentially is switch each other on and off, back and forth, back and forth, producing a high voltage square wave. Of course, then you could use a voltage doubler <coughs> and a zener regulator circuit if you want to use it with a Geiger tube. And and for Geiger tubes, you need a low voltage, you need a high voltage, low current source. These capacitors could be uh, half 0.5 microfarad or whatever you want to make them. But the main circuit is this. Disadvantages. The circuit is very power inefficient. It wastes a lot of energy. And the output frequency is really dependent on just T1 and a few other parameters you can't control. The only way you can control the output maybe is the input voltage. But if the input voltage is too low, the circuit stops working. There is another solution possibly. And this is a CD. 4047 driving a pair of MOSFETs using the very same type transformer, but that's for another video that will go into more detail on this. So, thanks for watching and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.